Are you ready to get your bath? Come on. Here. Let's get your collar off. Okay. Come on. Up we go. I'm going to pull this away so when you have to go by, you can go by that way. It, can you see us? Yes. Everything's okay. being filmed. No, it won't stop, will it? I hope not. I'll keep an eye on it. Well, don't go turn the TV on. I don't want the TV on so you, can't, you won't hear it. And yes, the sink is washed before and after we do the dog. Yes. Meticulously. <coughs> She's having and this is the easiest way to do it. I can control. This is our second shisu. Our and first uh, one was named Sophie, and this one is Chloe. We call her the redneck. She's a little on the heavy side, probably weighs about 25 pounds. Which could be a little big for some shisus, Here, but hold your head down. Uh, her predecessor Sophie was 23 pounds, about the same. She died of uh, brain disease uh, at the age of not quite 12. This one is uh, two plus, right? She's three. Three, three plus. Time, time flies when you're having fun. <clears throat> Mama gives a good shampooing and uh, careful not to get too much water in their ears. They can have some water, but not a lot of water in their ears. Shisus have a kind of a short and very angular uh, ear canal, and they have a t tendency to have also very hairy ears, which internally, which you can pluck. Um, but uh, because of the short canal and the angle, um, they are predisposed to problems with uh, getting infections in those ears. I'm talking about the canal itself, not the uh, middle ear. A simple way to take care of it is uh, you can buy the stuff uh, in all kinds of different preparations, but basically it has a vinegar uh, smell to it because that's basically what it is most of it it's, it's, it has a pH that's slightly acidic and doesn't allow the organisms to grow in that environment so uh, we usually put it in every time we give them a bath or at least every other at a minimum uh, you don't have to do it any more frequent than that unless you have a raging infection then I suggest you really see the vet because you might have something else brewing so to speak uh, not really um, something you want to guess at always want to make sure you treat your dogs kindly first dog she used to take her her bath with me in the shower and I'd hold her in my across my arm. This one's uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, and and I'm a, quite a bit older. I'm 72 now, uh, so it's not as easy to lift and hold her for the period that you're getting her wet. Shampooing, she you lay her down in the sh in, and you sit her down in the shower in the same place for the cream rinse. But she loves her bath. Um, um, she, as well as her predecessor, uh, <clears throat> both look forward to their baths and have on occasion said it's, and when we get forgetful, kind of claw at the, or stand up by the sink or go in and lurk around the shower. And we had one time when we were on vacation with Sylvia, our previous, so. Sophie with our previous dog and uh, we were at a friend's house for several weeks and we forgot to give her a bath and she was getting a little rank and 
she didn't like it, so she went into this lady's uh, private bedroom and sought out her private bath and shower. And and <clears throat> the lady saw her in there, didn't know what was going on, but she told us. And then after that, she went into the second bathroom in the house on the same floor because it was just a single level home and basically did the same thing, acted like she wanted to get in the tub to get, or the shower stall and uh, so we finally figured out how dumb we were and uh, gave her her bath and boy I'll tell you I made the difference. Dogs do like to be clean irregardless of what people think. Now if they're working dogs that doesn't mean they have to stay dirty, but working dogs can get really dirty, and some of them live outside. That's another story. She lives inside, and she sleeps in our bed. So she gets a weekly bath. Good girl. That's a good girl. Hold your head down. She does have a tendency to, to uh, have problems with her anal glands, which means that... Uh, you can either either pay the vet to do it for fifty dollars or more, or you can you can do it yourself. You know these glands are at uh, basically five o'clock and seven o'clock. So you go in with a glove on rectally, and you feel for them, and you push your finger ahead of them, and you pull backwards across them and, and express the glands. And that you want to do obviously before you give them a bath. It's a pretty pungent odor, but uh, as you can see, she doesn't she doesn't mind her bath at all. Now she has a tendency, like all dogs do, to to want to shake. But every once in a while, my wife Marianne will just <laughs> tell her not to shake, even though she does sometimes, and that kind of ends it right there and then. So now she's had her, she had her cream rinse now? That's her cream The cream rinse is the last thing. She looks kind of like a drowned rat right now. Turn them over to the side so they can see a little more. There you go. There's the old gal. Gotta wash that undercarriage. <laughs> She'll kind of squeegee her with her hands, you know, get some of that excess fluid off. Then I'll, then I'll water and I'll give her this this uh, towel here. <coughs> no, 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 no. No shaking. There we go. And then from here she goes into the bathroom in the back where mom's got the hair dryer. And she gets her, she gets a little hair drying done back there, and then about 10-15 minutes later she comes out here and rips through the house a few times, and then generally the very first thing she does is go to the bathroom and drain that <laughs> bladder. All this stimulation and work. Now this is a very interesting dog in that she does a lot of noises when you, uh, when you're working around her and when you're with her, she this is a, probably one of the noisiest dogs I've ever had from the stand, standpoint of all the little noises she makes. <laughs> give him a, give him a close up there. Uh, yeah, there's so that slow. good girl. <laughs> now we're gonna go get dry. Now uh, you go get dry, okay? No. Okay. Now we are ready to dry her off.
always stays until I tell her. Okay, now we're done. Oh, I can't get the silly thing out of here. He's got it set up on a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Go get him! Well, this is what she looks like after her bath. She's not totally dry, but she'll work that out over the next hour or so. Oh, she loves to play. She's got her own toy basket under that table there where my wife's standing. She's got about 30 toys, and she knows specifically which one she wants, too. Well, after she gets dry, more, I'll uh, brush her out. And you can see, she's a happy little girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> you love your bath, don't you? Yes. You love <clears throat> your bath. Mommy, give you a treat. Mommy, give